hard to imagine we're already on episode four of Selector Spread with Cross. I, I can't even believe we're already four weeks into this anime season. When I see that episode count, time sure does fly. But anyways, this week's episode of Selector Spread with Cross. A lot more questions, less answers, more questions once again in Selector. Now, with this episode, I am seeing a couple of things progress here. It's obvious, after my theories I had last week, it's very obvious that Udith, Mayu, and Iona have some form of connection. Like, they, they have some form of game or role they're playing with Tama and Ruko in this episode. There's definitely a massive connection. There's a plan or a plot or something. There, there is something going on in the background. Now, in this episode, there's a couple of setup points in this episode I want to mention. Majority of this episode clearly is setup. It is just downright set up for the events of this season. It is clearly that. There wasn't much all going on, but for what did happen, there was some massive setups. Like, you had Urif go to Aki Lovely. I, I can't stand saying that. Aki Lovely, she goes to her house. And you see Aki Lovely jump into her arms, start snuggling, you know, Urif and all like, Oh, I'm glad you're here and all that type of shit. You know, pretty much like that. Well, you have it to where Udif tells Aki Lovely that she wants her to do something for her. Like, she wants, you know, asking Aki Lovely to do something for her. So, what is it? Now, I'm going to play a Fury game real quick, okay? Now, I don't know necessarily how dark this series is going to be. I, as I said last week, I talked about it. For Aki Lovely to even mention that she wants to kill Ruko or anyone, like she could kill it. With her state of mind and how crazy she is, she could possibly do it. Why do I feel like maybe, you know, Udif is trying to tell Aki Lovely maybe to hurt Yuzuki and Hitoe? Maybe maybe that's exactly what, you know, Udif is trying to tell Aki Lovely at the moment. Try to hurt them to force Ruko to fight Udif and, you know, Tama. That's exactly what I think might happen. Anyways, now past that entire point, there is a setup at the end of this episode and at the beginning of this episode. Right when the episode begins and right towards it ends. Like at the beginning you see this girl just typing on the computer, typing in White Room Mayu. Pretty much that's what she's typing. And you see the entire fight commence of, you know, Tama versus Chiori and all that. You see the fight just starting. And then when that episode continues, you learn about this like novel writer that wrote these novels on lacrosse. And as the actual episode progresses, we get to the apartment or this place that this writer, the sensei, is at. And the sensei, I instantly recognize as soon as I saw the face. Because in the opening song, you will see this exact same character in the opening song, you know, turn around and all that. And you'll see, you know, LRG just go through the computer screen. So, either that person right there, okay, that person that's the sensei writing the novels is a selector. Or... That person is actually uh, one of the LRGs that took over a person's body. That's exactly what I think is going on right now. I think maybe either that sensei was a previously, you know, a card that was stuck in the card, or she's a selector. Those are the two options we have right now, because, I mean, how would this person know about the White Room in such vivid detail to, like, tell a story like she does? Like, the two novels she wrote, why is she doing that? A lot of questions right there. Now, there's one thing in this episode that goes back to earlier theories I had, and a bunch of people have kind of had a little bit of theories over the course of this series. The Grandma. The Grandma has always been the center focus of conspiracy theories when it comes to this series. I had a conspiracy theory when the episode one first started in the series, like Selector Infected with Cross. I remember I talked about that Grandma saying she's very fucking suspicious. She is. And with this... She was beating the shit out of Chiori like it's nothing. Like, I think she beat her seven times. And the thing is, you have it to where Chiori mentions that, are you the queen of innocence? Now, as we can already tell, th these novels that are clearly being wrote by this sensei is based on a true story that's going on in the events in the series. So... What if that entire bit that Chiori said to the grandma was a hint that she is a lot more relevant than we thought? Because, like I said, that, that brings up my theories to the grandma a lot more. Because, I mean, she's way too damn good at Wicross to not know something about Mayu or Tama or something along the lines of that. Because there's just too many questions about her. Now, 
We get a fight scene in this episode. Chiori, once again, just does not understand the danger. As I have been saying for the past three episodes now, she just clearly does not understand the danger of losing. She doesn't. She will learn the hard way. I know for a fact that will happen. It's destined to probably happen in the series. Chiori will learn the hard way of when her body either gets stolen or she loses three games in a row. She will learn the hard way because now it's confirmed with this episode after she lost. She has total lost twice and she's won three matches. So she's played about five matches. She's won three. She's lost two. So yeah. Chiori is definitely going to lose because, you know, that's not a good number. You know, are you losing two? No, that, that's not good at all. Now, with that, okay, with this episode and that entire development, I personally believe the setup and tension of the series is growing really strong. I am really looking forward to seeing exactly where the series will go after this point because, like I said, there's just too many questions about Mayu and too many questions about the Sensei, too many questions about, you know, how Ulif is able to like, miraculously have Tama at the given moment. Just, there's just too many questions, connections going on right now that I had. And I know a lot of Chibas were making some really good theories last week in the comments below, so that was really cool what some of you uh, came up with. Either way, though, I guess we're going to have to see where it goes next week. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. How'd you feel about this week's episode? I love you all so much. You have a wonderful, wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.